Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Listen, this is gonna be a, I guess, a rehash or a revisit of the catch can that I installed in my Ford Super Duty 2020. All right, so it's been over 500 miles. I don't know exactly the miles. I'll put a, a little notation how many actually miles it has been since I installed this thing. And it's just a follow-up video to let you guys know to see how it's doing. That's pretty much it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I just gotta finish washing Tonka here. So right now I'm gonna go into the engine bay, unscrew the, the catch can, and we're gonna take a look inside and see what we have in it, right? So stay with me. Please consider like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Let's go. guys see I'm in engine bay now to now to unscrew this you're just going clockwise with it all right to unscrew it all right see I pretty much started it off already and I'm taking it off uh, let me see what we're doing here it's pretty uh, clean here yeah I'm just going down and I want to see what I got here. And guys, this is, I'm just opening it up for the first time um, since I installed it. And let me show you what I got here. I don't know if you can see that, but I got a, quite a bit of oil in here. Quite a bit. <laughs> I'm surprised I got that much. All right. So you guys, uh, you know, a few months back, I installed this catch can. Check out that how-to video. This is the revisit. This is my first time ever taking it off since I installed it. And I wanna show you how much oil I got in here. All right. Wow, I didn't expect that much. Now think about it. That much oil you're catching before it goes back into that engine. All right. So, you know what? Let me go get a measuring cup and pour this oil in to see how much um, I end up catching <laughs> since I installed this. All right, this is my first time opening it up and looking at it. Again, this is for the Ford 2020 Super Duty Tremor. Uh, I have the Godzilla engine, the 7.3, and I'm highly surprised. I'm very surprised. So if you guys are wondering if, does it, is it worth getting a catch can for your super duty I don't know I'll let you see the oil here you make the judgment of that but I, to me I think that's a worthy investment so let's go in the house let me get a, a old cup and see if we can measure how much oil I actually caught in this catch can since I installed it and I will follow up on how many miles I did to get to this point all right my plans was to stop at 500 miles, but I'm pretty sure I went over it because I was going back and forth to Virginia Beach. So I'll let you know. So stay with me, guys. All right, consider like, subscribe, and uh, let's continue on. All right, guys. Um, I'm back at the truck here, and I have the container for my catch can. Now, guys, I, I measured this out here, this little cup. The top line is one cup. The middle line is a half a cup and the third line below is going to be like a quarter of a cup all right when i measure it out with the measuring cup so what i'm going to do now i'm pretty much just going to dump the oil in here and we're going to see how much oil was caught okay guys so let's uh let's pour the oil in again this is my first time opening up the catch can since i bought it and look how black that is guys and you see it's close to a quarter of a cup of oil that was caught by that catch can all right wow i am totally shocked <laughs> i am totally shocked all right and i don't know if you can see inside here that's a little magnet and you can see i got a little there's little particles in there that that magnet end up catching coming out of that catch can I believe I could be wrong but it looks like it to me all right so let me just continue to drop some more so the question is is a catch can worth it 
for your 2020 Super Duty Tremor. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys answer that for yourselves. All right, I showed you what I caught. Was it worth it to me in the purchase? Damn, Skippy. <laughs> All right, so the old naysayers out there are gonna say, oh, no, this and that. Listen, you do you, I'll do me. And I think it was well, it was well worth the cost of purchasing in my book. All right. Tell me I'm wrong. Give me some comments below. All right, guys. But again, my first time I took this off, and that's what I saw. So it's up to you guys. I'm going to clean this out, reinstall it. Now I know. Again, I'll make an indication of how many miles I drove before I check this. The, I was trying to go 500 miles, but pretty much got us involved with personal stuff and it kind of pushed that service date off. But I definitely, I'm glad I checked it now. So now I can gauge, especially going into the winter months, you don't want this to sit in your catch can. So, and that's it. All right, guys, you saw the oil I got out of my engine, all right, with this catch can right here, all right. You tell me, was it worth the cost? Listen, there's a lot of naysayers out there, a lot of forms saying, no, you don't need it, and this and that. I took out less, almost a quarter of oil in that catch can. Got a quart before it went back into my engine. So, I don't know. If, if the video evidence is not good enough, I don't know what is. So, I think it's worth it for me. If it was helpful, guys, please like, subscribe, give me some comments about it. Tell me you got any issues with it, whatever. All right. Uh, let's get the conversation on. Guys, see you in the next one with me and the Tonka trucker here, my super duty. But we'll see you in the next update. Later.